Hi guys, welcome back. We'll be talking about dimensions, colors, and fonts. What about we're going to improve on our UI of this particular web application? Right there in the colors XML, we will need to uh, add each of the colors required for the weather app. Where well, we have the color primary, the primary dark, which is a uh, light. The first primary is like a, a sky blue. Uh, the second one is like a darker blue. The color accent is uh, a sort of yellow. And we have the primary light, a much lighter blue. We have white the prime for the text, which is going to be black. For the secondary text, which is going to be gray. Uh, we have for the detail accent colors, which is for the detail accent pane background. And for the label. So we try to give each functionalities uh, or each module in the application different types of color. And we have for the activated state color for a forecast list item, you know, which is much, much lighter. You know, this is the colors that we'll be using. Right there in the diamonds, uh, the diamonds XML, you find it uh, at the values, which is uh, where the colors, the diamonds, the strings, the styles, and the area sits. Uh, you're going to create and use the dimension for the weather app layout, where you have the resources as the tag, and we have the default screen margin per the Android design guidelines. We have the forecast detail or horizontal padding, and for the detail vertical padding, 32 dp and 16 dp respectively. We have for the icon sizes for the today icon as the today uh, data or today weather forecast, which is 96 dp. For the list icon, we are, we give it a smaller DP, which is 40 DP. We have text sizes, which are, we are using DP, yeah, rather than SP, because these are already large font sizes. And going larger will cause lots of views problems. This is only for the large forecast numbers in the forecast list. For the forecast text size, 20 DP. For the temperature space, 4 DP. Uh, we will eventually use this to allow us to add additional padding for different screen sizes, which is the, the focus list item vertical padding, uh, for the item icon margin right, for the margin end, for the padding horizontal, we have for the loading indicator size, we will give that 42 dp, we have list item, item temperature margin, we give some padding, uh, we have for the uh, the List item low temperature text view size, which is 48 dp. We have for the date, uh, left margin, and for the start margin, all assigned appropriately. We'll be looking at the primary weather info. You find the primary weather info XML in the layout. Well, we're going to add the color description, the high temperature, and the low temperature appropriately. Uh, we're going to replace the dimension values with the diamonds at diamonds resource. Are we going to use sans serif light font family for the temperature text view, which is that uh, for the layout, which does what we've done? Uh, we let me let me quickly show you how where you can really find that. You can see the colors, color on the color secondary, um, the font family. This is sans serif light light. Uh, the font family, sans serif, and also the color, uh, secondary, and uh, that's uh, the slight inclusion we did here. You no, know? that's cool. Let's get to look at the activity forecast. You find activity forecast in the layout XML. These are all layout files. Well, we're going to replace the dimension values with the at diamond resources. Any dimension values here will be replaced with the at dimension resources. Let's get to look at the extra weather details. Uh, the color background and the label text color we change that appropriately, which is the color background. We call it the color detail accent pane, and uh, the label. Or we get to use the label. We also change the font family. We give it sans serif. Uh, the text color. 
call the color detail accent. Same thing goes for the humidity. For the pressure, we change the font family, change the text color. For the pressure measurement, we all did that. For the wind label, the font family and the text color. And also for the wind measurement. Uh, these are just little tricks, like just adding more uh, appealing UI. You know, make it look brighter and uh, improve the font and uh, get a dimension for larger screen and for smaller screen. So I'll be showing you this uh, application in a vertical uh, screencast and also in the horizontal screencast as people that use tablets, you know, so that they can have an appropriate uh, application display. So I'll be showing you the screencast of this uh, particular module and don't go anywhere. We are about to round enough. We still have like a few modules to go because our application is already getting made. Thanks for hanging out with me. Don't go anywhere.